I'm Derek Straw. At the time of the Falklands conflict, I was a squadron leader on 206 Squadron at RAF Kinloss. I was the squadron navigation leader and we were equipped with the Nimrod MR2, having just completed conversion. I got a phone call from my squadron commander who told me rather cryptically to pack my bags for a long sea voyage and that I would be leaving tomorrow. I remonstrated on this because I thought it was a bit of a joke but he assured me that I had been ordered by the air commander at Northwood particularly to go south and immediately in order to join Admiral Woodward's staff on board HMS Hermes. Uh, somewhat of a shock, uh, especially as I was in the middle of my flying tour, which I was thoroughly enjoying, but orders were orders. Well, the major challenge was going to be what are the Nimrods going to do once the task group has gone past Ascension Island and carried on to the islands. Uh, at this stage there was no mention of uh, air to air refuelling which was the only way we could possibly envisage getting there or through the use of friendly airfields in South America. At the time both options seemed totally unlikely so we were somewhat bemused but happy that we could still do some work around the island but also search at least 1800 miles down track towards the Falklands uh, and assist the task group in that in that way. They would be following a set of tram lines directly from Ascension Island to the Falkland Islands, uh, keeping well clear of the South American coastline. So in terms of surveillance for those uh, ships which were coming down in, in groups, there were several groups of them, we could carry on and, and survey a swathe of those tram lines at least as far as 1800 miles. So we didn't have to consider at that stage getting close to the South American coast and of course we certainly couldn't have considered getting to the Argentinian coast with the fuel load that we carried. Suddenly you realise that the war isn't over, we're all back in it, and here we've got uh, a force multiplier, air-to-air -air refuelling, and yes, by the look of it, from just stopping at 1800 miles and coming up to Ascension, we should have the ability to go a little bit further. We started on air-to-air -air refuelling, and in parallel with that, with uh, fighter affiliation, uh, anticipating that if we were, go were going to be going into the uh, the war zone, we might need to learn how to get away from Argentine fighters. And so we practiced against Belgian Mirages and RAF Phantoms on fighter f avoidance fighter affiliation. We flew down on the 7th of May and we tanked over the Bay of Biscay and flew direct from Kinloss to Ascension Island, an 11 hour, 12 hour sortie. Uh, this gave us a chance to bed ourselves in with air-to-air -air refuelling for, for real instead of just on the training ranges. Uh, and it also meant we arrived in Ascension with, I think, the first of the air-to-air -air refuelling capable aeroplanes. We occasionally had intercepts on the Soviet uh, Bear D reconnaissance aeroplanes that we knew had uh, deployed to the South Atlantic and uh, were also taking a look at our task group. Uh, we saw no sign of any Argentinian shipping uh, we, because it, we were not going far enough. Our turn to fly a sortie to the Falklands area itself uh, only came on the uh, 17th, 18th of, uh, of May where we 
took two sorties, two tanking sorties to get to the edge of the Falkland uh, zone where we went on task and then surveyed along the coast of Argentina, a night sortie this time, uh, and then a third tanking sortie off Rio de Janeiro to get back. We made the first rendezvous okay, that worked out well this time, uh, carried on, and as we're approaching the second rendezvous, the squadron commander who was uh, joined us for this sortie as the third navigator, uh, Wing Commander David Emerson, uh, then called us all to crew intercom to tell us that uh, tonight was the night of the San Carlos landings, which only he had been privy to uh, information, and that the next tanking sortie was therefore vital uh, to continue the rest of the sortie. Uh, and not only that, we had to ensure that there was no shipping between the uh, landing groups and San Carlos and in particular coming in from the west on the west of the islands. So this concentrated our minds a little more to the islands themselves and the, all of the inlets and we just then happily made the th second rendezvous for the tanking. That went to plan and then got on task descended our task about 10,000 feet, keeping an eye open now. We weren't too sure whether the carriers and the associated harriers would be moving west as well, and we certainly didn't want to tangle with, with any of the, our own fighters. So double checks on our IFF and colours of the day, we blackened the aeroplane, and then we set ourselves up to pass about 50 miles uh, north of the islands, where our radar could get a very close look. Uh, and we did that. We saw a few of the lead ships on radar of the task group. As we flew past Stanley, we were quite surprised to see all the lights ablaze. And uh, we uh, had an intercept from their uh, long range uh, navigation or air warning radar. We continued on to carry on around the island, look to the west, radar looked to the southwest, and then to the, join the coast again. Uh, and flew along the coast and zigzagged our way back. Satisfied there was absolutely no shipping, there was no fishing fleets, nobody was around. Our squadron commander appeared and basically he said, that's it, you're on your way home. So pack your bags and uh, Tomorrow you can go back to Kinloss. You've uh, flown your limits. We felt uh, he got it wrong. Uh, we felt we were uh, on the ball. We felt that uh, we, we'd uh, mounted all the obstacles and uh, we were in a groove uh, and quite happy to carry on. But when the boss ordered it, that was it. My first trip in it, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I fell in love with it straight away. So I think it proved to be a, a very good aeroplane for the job it had to do. And it was enjoyed by just about everybody who flew them. Superb aeroplane.